This video I'm doing is on um, the app Groove IP. And um, what you just saw flicker just there was the new welcome um, from the app. And let me show you um, which version um, it is. It's actually version 2.0.4. Um, but let me show you because there's some other versions out there and this is actually the newest version currently 2.0.4 you see it there at the top and um, it is now um, different because originally Groove IP was um, created so that you can get phone calls with your Google voice number through Groove IP um, it was another way to um, have your phone calls come to your phone with um, Groove I, with um, Google Voice. But now you can still do that. There's still an option. I can show you here in the settings. Um, you see it says Google Voice integration. If you click that, you can receive phone calls through Google Voice. You can make phone calls through Google Voice if you check these, or you can do both. Um, it's not working for me currently, so I can't show you how to do it. And the reason why that is is because it says that if you want to receive phone calls via Google Voice, you have to go into your Google Voice, Google Voice account settings and forward your phone calls to, Groove, to your Groove IP number. Um, but going into Google Voice and going into settings... Um, there's nothing here that allows you to forward anything. Um, you can't even change your phone number. You click that. You can't put any number you want in there. Um, if you click your Google Voice number, you're not able to change that. So I don't know um, how to do that based on the instructions that Groove IP gives. But they say it's possible. Um, but one of the things that Groove IP will do... Um, here, let me go into titanium backup and wipe the data um, so that you can see what it's like to get the Groove IP from the beginning so this is it welcome to the new Groove IP and it's loading and it's you can press the get started and when you press get started you can register so you can put in um, a name uh, I'm just gonna use a dummy account that I use um, turn it this way so I can type it um, Password, and then um, you press register once you sign in with everything, and then you agree to the terms and the services. Uh, make sure you read them carefully um, when you go to register um, and know what you're agreeing to um, that's important and you say I agree and and it says the email is already being used because um, I tried to do this earlier and my video messed up but I didn't actually go through the whole process um, so uh, I don't know. Let's see if it does it. Um, wrong email password combination. Um, it's not working for the dummy. Um, but I actually do have a real 
um, account. So you can actually hit, um, oh, well, when you do that and you press register, you can, the next thing that'll come up is a window for you to um, put in an area code that you want to choose. And once you put in the area code of, you know, that you want your phone number to be, it'll give you a list of phone numbers. You click that phone number and then uh, it'll give you the phone number and your Groove IP will open up. And um, it will look like this and it opened up to your keypad. Um, and you can make and receive phone calls. So I'm going to call my uh, Groove IP number. And um, so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Um, when they call. And that's it when they call the Groove IP number and you can see that that's different from my phone number because I'll dial my phone number and you'll be able to see how differently it looks um, so there you have it so this is when it dials my phone and the other way you just saw is when it dials Groove IP. So you can have it set up um, to where you have even a different ringtone. So if you're not next to your phone and you can't see the screen, um, it's right here under Audio Echoes. You can do ringtone override and then you can also do use contact ringtones. Um, so if you have contacts with a special ringer, it'll ring into your Groove IP with their ringtone but you see there's a difference with the screen when you, when it calls the Groove IP number it uses the Groove IP app and the Groove IP looks different looks one way and then my phone looks another way so that's a way to tell the difference between those two phone calls and then the other way I have it is um, with the ringtones um, and the wonderful thing I love about that is that um, Sometimes I change my cell phone number, or lately I've changed my cell phone number often because I've moved a few different places, a few different states over the last couple of years. And so when you have a number like the Groove IP number or Google Voice number, even though you move and things change, you don't, you're not forced to change your phone number right away for people who you haven't talked to in a while. So I change my cell phone number. And that usually is the new number for the area I'm in. But then people who have my Groove IP or my Google Voice number can still contact me. And I also use my uh, Google Voice number for business. So these are just other ways that you can have to, for people to have access to you. The downside to Groove IP, which I hope, you know, with some of the new updates that they give, is that when people leave you a voicemail or they send you a text message it goes to your email so let me see and the email says ring to voicemail um for the voicemail um the sms i can't um i think i deleted that one the sms message but they come to your email so the downside to that is if you're like me and you don't have your notification set to instant or right away when someone leaves you a Groove IP message or when they um, contact you by SMS through your Groove IP number, it's going to send to your email and you're not going to get it until you check your emails. So hopefully they'll upgrade it and it'll have some integration directly with the phone so that you can get missed calls on your, um, I mean, you can get voicemails listed on your phone calls with all the other voicemails and your email your sms's can actually come to your messaging app um to me like i said that's the only downside because someone called me the other day and i missed the call i didn't see it on my screen 
And um, I, th- I think it's because my phone was off when I turned my phone back on. I didn't have any message that there was a voicemail waiting for me. And when I finally checked my voicemails that night, I mean, I had the phone call was probably like eight hours or nine hours old. So it would have been nice if I could have gotten that message immediately and been able to respond to the voicemail sooner. So um, it has its ups. You just heard its downs. But I use the app. I love it. Um, I really liked it originally when it just was simple and just used your Groove IP, your um, Google Voice number. Um, but now it has its own number. And so they just kind of got to tweak it. I hope they tweak it. I hope they update it. Maybe I'll write them and send them some feedback and let them know um, that it would be great if you can get something in your notifications with the app. Um, that you have a voicemail, even if you still got to go to your email to read it, but that you get notified that it's there. So I hope this video helped uh, someone out. Thank you. Bye-bye.